How is everybody doing? Hunter Gold looks real nice right now. I like this path a lot. I like this path a lot. You get to get a nice shot into a sparkle. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. A shop into a sparkle. Can you believe it? An early Sir Boomerang for damage. I'm of the kind to do this. Uh, not a good event. Oh, that's a huge. Oh my god. Toxic Egg on floor three? Massive. Absolutely massive. That's gonna change a whole lot of things. It's gonna change a whole lot of things. Like Shrug It Off Plus, for instance. Oh my, what's up, ballet? A Shrug It Off Plus. That looks beautiful. So now, um, card rewards look really good. Card rewards look really good right now. Let's go do some fights. Let's go do some fights. If I didn't get bashed earlier, this fight was difficult. If I didn't get bashed earlier, this fight was very hard. Scooby with the 20, uh, sorry, 12 months. Thanks for Twitch Prime, buddy. Welcome back, Scooby. Welcome back, man. A Havoc? A Havoc upgraded. I'll take it. Let's anger these guys. Nice. Very nice. Alright, good luck. Captain's wheel, here it is, Captain's wheel. Boom. Alright. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Oh, nice, that was not my intention though. My intention was not to kill that man. I also don't want him to stay alive this long. Fuck this up. Alright. I guess you gotta take your time with this fight. Most sure, most definitely. A barricade field of pain power through. Why? Aye aye, Captain. Wow, we got power through plus barricade this early. Nah, maybe I don't do the sparkle. Maybe now nah, I don't do the sparkle. Panic button for my barricade. Hot. Are we gonna have damage for the for the time for the hex ghost? The armaments gives me damage on my strikes, but after this is gonna become a very bad card because this upgrades my strikes to make me do damage with my strikes, but it becomes a very bad card. It becomes a very bad card because I have toxic egg. But it helps me kill this Hexagos with Strike Plus, which might be necessary, because I don't have damage right now. But what I can do is go for these fights, maybe look for damage. I mean, the bone is gone. I don't know if I like it, necessarily. I don't really have the energy for it, either. Let's do these fights. We need all these fights. We need all of these fights. I might even skip the campfire and go for all the fights. Perfected strike is damage. It's not what you want to see because I've already moved to strike, but I need damage, guys. And now I can upgrade that perfected strike, but I, I kind of want to go for the sparkle. Whoa, I forgot about that. Yikes. Slow down a little bit. 
Discovery gives me damage. What's up, Lord Mach? I'm warming up, but I definitely gotta slow down. I'm, war I'm war warming up right now. But I should definitely slow down just a little bit. Just kind of warming up. Cleave is damage. I perfect a strike now, though. Sentinel is interesting because if I Havoc it on the off chance, then we can play bigger turns. I'm glad you liked it, Oble. I think Iron Clan is the most fun. The most fun class. Other classes are, you know, they're okay. But we'll switch it up, though. We'll switch it up. Do we have enough damage for this exit ghost, guys? We don't have card draw, but in a world where we have card draw, the sentinel might be much better. And right now it's 8 block. Perfected Strike could be enough damage. I'm definitely gonna upgrade Perfected Strike. I'm gonna go for Cleave here for the Sparkle. We got Panache. Are we gonna get Panache in these fights with Havoc? Hmm. Get a Panache right now. We get a Panache right now. Um, that might be worth the price of admission already. That might be worth the price of admission already. Captain's Veal is here. This might be a good barricade. This might be a decent barricade, honestly. Barricade, shrug it off, and we already have we, we have enough block for the next turn. I think, it's just, I think it's too good to pass up. It's 22 damage. We take 6, but that's okay. We're going against Hex Ghost. I don't care about being super low. Alright, so we got the Sparkle out of the way. And let's see if we can get some more damage. Pantograph. Oh no, we're going to be way too healthy. So, Flame Bearer is damage. Flame bear is damage for Hexaghost if you get on the right turn, of course, which is a little bit worrisome. Let's do this for damage, but now Havoc can get rid of my strikes. He also can do a big attack. We got Discovery. I'm going to do Discovery because I want to find some damage. Um, Fiendfire is now... Evolve gives me card draw. Bloodletting gives me energy, which allows me to do more perfected strikes and bash stuff. If I take Bloodletting now, I can play Barricade and Perfected Strike. And in general... We got Entrench. Oh, wow. Let's look for Flame Barrier. GG. So we use both potions, but that's okay, because we have a really good, strong Act 1. Like, we have Toxic Egg, and we have all these amazing things going on. So I'm okay with using, uh... I'm okay with using both potions here. Because this fight was kind of hard to begin with. And with, with the pair, which is nice, max speed, we have Toolbox, we have Pantograph, we have Odd Mushroom, which is fantastic. Captain's Will is fantastic with Barricade Deck. We got Toxic Egg. I mean, I feel really good about... So we can take enough block or we could do Perfected Strike here. I mean, it's tough to call. I think we go for the, the damage here. Obviously, Entrench would have been a little bit nutty. Our damage is still low, but we're going to make up for it by just having enough block. Now our perfect track is getting worse, so our damage is getting even worse. So perfect track and having is not very good together. But bash alone should be enough. That's the theory. Bash alone should be enough is the theory. There's still a chance we still die here. Still a chance that we still die here. But maybe not after this turn. It's pretty decent damage. Still a chance we could die. There's still a chance we die here. Perfect track needs to be come up big. Now 
Nice. Alrighty, that was really scary. I almost got a, a 20 NC world record. I should have missed a smoke bomb glitch on a weekend one. Oh, that's sick, man. What class were you on? Do I take bludgeon because I have havoc? Or do we take fiendfire, which is going to be... Fiendfire and perfect strike is pretty awkward. Bludgeon with havoc is like a one-time deal, but that's not guaranteed to happen either. On the watcher. Oh, very nice. Uh, so these cards do damage, but Fiendfire Perfected Strike is like... I can't worry too much about Fiendfire Perfected Strike because this deck might end up doing other things with Body Slam or whatever comes down the line. I needed Perfected Strike just in the interim. And Bludgeon is kind of awkward to play in general. Especially if I don't get an Energy Relic here. If I don't get an Energy Relic here, it's pretty awkward. Fiendfire does a lot of good things. In Act 2. I can even exhaust down my deck to get down to like the nitty gritty. I can use Flame Barrier to strike it off as my offense. Evening T Peaks. Um, and sometimes Havoc and Bludgeon is a thing, but I think I'll do Fiend Fire even though Perfect Strike is awkward. And I'll take Energy here. Um, the deck needs. It needs a lot of work so far. What's up, Calm Crack? Yeah, man. I remember you. I remember you way back in the day. All right, so we have some events here. We have an elite really late. Can we squeeze? How many elites can we squeeze with this deck? How many elites can we squeeze? This is a lot of campfires. Is that too many campfires? How you doing, Logotest? Is that too many campfires? Book to haircut, that's that's a good feeling. Hell yeah. There's also this path for more elites. How many elites do you think we can do? I mean it totally depends on whether I get my damage online a little bit more. My AoE is kinda shoddy. If I get a body slam, I, I can do like all these elites. If I don't get a body slam, I, I don't know. But I think we always go here first and make a decision to pivot. Metamorphosis? Let's see what this hits. This is awkward. This guy's about to fall down. Are open, yes. In some states, of course. Whoa. Barricade and trench. Ah, right, but now we need damage. We need damage. Very good entrench is good. So let's get a couple body slams and we're kind of happy here. We could have a Perfected Strike damage as our, as our damage source. That's possible. Flame Bear Perfected Strike as our damage source. You know, we really want to round that out a little bit, though. Trigger for Exhaust. A Trigger, it's interesting. It's a very powerful skill. It's a really good block. Um, it's going to make Perfected Strike even worse. So now we have a decision. Do we have the damage for this Elite in this shop? I think we always go here. These are upgraded apparitions. And what... 
What upgrade apparitions basically means is that uh, we can get barricade out and a massive entrench. Like we can do, basically do a crazy amount of uh, entrench scaling and then start the fight on our own terms. But we also lose half our max HP and Pranograph becomes worse. I mean, obviously, Apparition Plus is very good with Barricade and Trench. It's kind of disgusting because you, it gives you time to set up the Barricade with Captain's Wheel, get a massive Entrench, and then the fight's over. The fight's over. The way this works is like, yeah, we're going to have 200, 100 to 200 block, and then ready to do whatever the hell we want. Pentagraph gets worse, but... Maybe I could use this to kill these elites, but I still look lacking damage big time, you know? Even though I have all these apparitions, I'm still gonna be like, okay, 20,000 block, and now I gotta kill things with Perfected Strike. Um, you guys wanna do this whole apparition and basically buy time for Barricade to pop off? And then Entrench just kinda wins the game. Who else wants apparitions? I mean, we lose our max HP. We currently lose a lot of HP out of this. But apparitions are kind of broken. We have Exhum. This class has Exhum. This class has Exhum and Offering and... All right, I'll show you guys how it works, I guess. I'll show you how it works. All right, max HP down the drain. Let me show you how it works, boys. Take a wild strike for the perfect strike. I don't know. I think we skip here, but we also have Truger now for Sentinel, which is interesting. If we get some card draw with Truger with the Sentinel, now we can actually utilize this energy from Sentinel and do what with it? We can play some of these expensive cards. If we got card draw, the Sentinel kind of opens up, but right now the Sentinel doesn't do much. But I could future proof the deck and be like, I'll take the Sentinel for energy purposes. Um. I might as well take Bloodletting, but I mean, I'll take Sentinel for energy purposes, and then it might open up later on with some card draw. Like Burning Pact or whatever. We're probably going to want Burning Pact anyways, because we want to find Barricade anyways. So we're going to be taking Burning Pact, Battle Trance, every card draw we're going to see, we're going to take. I think we can future-proof this. And now we can look for Shockwaves. We can look for Pommel Strike, which is actually... Pommel Strike is actually pretty good, guys. Pommel Strike is a strike that does card draw. A strike that does card draw, but Shockwave is pretty damn good. Alright. So now we have a chance between doing this elite and or going to a shop. Is there any upgrades I care about? I don't really care about these upgrades. I can, I can upgrade Fiendfire. I can upgrade Cleave. I think we go for these elites. But then we're going to have a lot of money at the shop. We'll go for this elite. Whoa. Fuck. Damn it. Can I... Uh, you think that will count if I save and quit? I didn't mean to click that. I'm going to silence this. But let me just not click randomly. Fuck me. 4,000 is the worst card you can ever get in your life. Alright. So you got trip versus deep breath. Alright, let's take the trip here. Quadruple elite. Yeah, there's a lot of elites here. He's really he's already permanent vulnerable. So let's just not take wounds and let's just focus on doing a little bit more damage. What am I scared? I'm scared to havoc and trench, right? I'm scared to havoc and trench. I'm also scared to havoc the. Uh... So havoc's getting worse now because I'm scared to havoc and trench. I'm scared to havoc fiend fire. I mean, are we that scared? 
We also want to find Barricade ASAP, right? There we go. There we go. This is where you want the apparitions, though. This is where you want the apparitions badly. A lot of wounds. If I can strike is getting worse because I, I have expert some of my strikes away. And very nice. Like marbles. Uppercut is weakened, but we don't need it. Maybe this is our damage. Maybe this is our damage. Is Juggernaut our damage here? I don't like it, but I mean we block and we do damage. We need to get a battle. We need to get a body slam. Yeah. Pressure strike is getting worse and worse. Yeah, I unlock the better art by beating it. Um, by beating the class on ascension. Ascension twenty. Cleave is good for the slavers. It's also good for gremlin leader. Oh my god, I keep doing that. Fuck. Alright, so last time I'm gonna click like that. Jesus Christ. Well, okay, you can get beta by just beating the bot no by beating the, the game. Um I think Ascension won. Just beat you gotta beat the game. Hand agreed. I I could technically hand agreed for this twenty gold. As, as, if, as, 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 as if I think I don't need to get barricade ASAP, and I think I do I need to get barricade ASAP. I think I do need to get barricade ASAP. I'm a little bit scared to havoc here. I'm a little bit scared to havoc, but. Havoc's a little bit scary. What do you guys think? We'll Havoc here. Nice. Huge Havoc. Huge. You gotta beat the hard to get Beta Branch. There you go. There you go, dude. Alright, Deep Peaks. Uh, we don't have apparition next turn. This is bad. This is really bad. Next turn is really bad, boys. Because I, I can't play barricade and entrench. Next turn is really bad. I also don't want to get rid of this apparition. Yes, yeah, so if you beat the heart, I'm not sure you get the beta heart. Oh, boys. This is 50 damage. Perfect strike gets worse. I have barricade entrench, but I don't have apparition on that turn. Oh boy. I need a barricade, man. I need I need a barricade here. I need a barricade badly. Might lose here. Fuck. Alright, this these are definitely a lot of mistakes here. These were a lot of mistakes. 
I don't think I take Perfected Strike to continue this Perfected Strike nonsense. I don't like it in this deck. We gotta change the way I do our damage. We gotta change the way we do damage. I don't mind Dropkick. Secret Technique. Secret technique. Um, we can do secret technique for flame barrier. It's truly a sentinel, and then do some damage here. We could we could easily die next turn though. We could also if we do shockwave, we could do shockwave and weaken them. It might be better. Shockwave to weaken them might be better. We end up with uh, 14 block, but they all get weakened. So we take three damage. The weak it should help me. The deck depends way too much on Barricade. Depends way too much on Barricade here. scary deck <sighs> it's getting very scary what we need is a some card draw badly you have to physically go into work today why is that why do they make that they, they're trying to change the policies what event we're we looking for here it's gonna be a quadruple elite here. It's gonna be a quadruple elite, but like, um, yeah, it's gonna be a quadruple elite, but at what cost? At what cost? like my deck does something right the deck just needs card draw it needs card draw do we take ritual dagger to gain some damage here guys maybe this is the damage we need Who's down for some ritual dagger? Kind of clogs the deck a little bit, right? Let's do a discovery here. Let's 
Discovery versus Shockwave. I mean, this is awkward. Shockwave is very good. Shockwave Flameberry is very good. That's awkward because it'd be nice to fiend fire this exclusively. 12 damage versus taking no damage. What do you guys think? We get one wound. Do we care about the wound? I guess do we care about the wound, you know? That last time this fight was a little bit difficult because. Last time this was a little bit difficult because. Um, my person's, you know. Ooh. Okay. This works. It's kind of exactly what we're looking for here. Now he's got to find a trench. There's the entrench. I'm okay with uh, Havoc in here. Very nice. That's gonna ruin some of our damage, but he's vulnerable for the rest of his life anyways. Okay, Juggernaut, we, don't ha we, we, don't, we often don't have the energy for Juggernaut, which is sad. We often don't have the energy for Juggernaut. But we do have the energy for Entrench. Juggernaut is something that you would want to play, but it's, you find trouble. You, it's, it's hard to get it out there, you know? So, Pommel Strike is card draw. I kind of just need that card. kind of just need this card. So, I'm hoping for, like, some transmutation to give me some, uh, some card draw cards. We got Barricade out early. So that helps. Maybe transportation can give us some card draw cards. Um, am I scared to have a cure? Not really. Steam fire is in my hand. And I could save this life. We have two more apparitions here. It's really hard to justify Juggernaut. Yes, it is. It's really hard. Slight, like, slightly, slightly think that Dragonite was probably a bad card to take. Um, we have Apparition here, which is probably fine, but also maybe not necessary. I could use this turn to just get Dragonite in play. It's not a bad turn to get Dragonite in play, I guess. I could also block for 26, but I can block for a lot more later on, so let's just get Dragonite in play. Does that need more content? Um, I could get rid of a strike and make perfect strike worse, but where's our damage? If I get rid of perfect strike, then our damage is very, very low, you know? Our damage is very low if we get rid of perfect strike here. I guess we have, uh... Transmutation as an out. Yeah, we currently don't have damage right now. I guess we have. Uh, technically, we have Entrench and uh, Juggernaut. So we can go with Juggernaut, Entrench. Okay. We can just Juggernaut him to death. Worst case scenario. I'm okay with Havoc in here. Oh, but I don't want to Havoc Entrench. It's, it's a really bad Havoc. It's a really bad Havoc if I Havoc Entrench here. Disaster. It would have been apparition, but you can't you can't know that, you know. We're taking damage next turn. We're taking damage next turn, unfortunately. Which is really bad because I, I may not have enough time to catch up on on. Maybe I was supposed to have it can take a risk for the apparition there because. Um. Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna catch up and block with Entrench, and we I think we just lose because we don't catch up and block. I think we just lose. I'm 
I'm getting apparitions in all the wrong turns. That's really bad. Um, if I apparition twice here, I don't take damage next turn. That buys me time to get entrench. But then I also waste one of my apparitions. So now we have weakened, which is very nice, yes. But um, next turn he's doing another multi attack. And we have Entrench, but we have Decent Block next turn, on average. And then we can save Apparition for another turn, I suppose. Because it feels bad to double Apparition here. We just need to catch up. We need to catch up badly. And I, I really hope to draw Apparition here. I want to do damage as well, but I really hope to draw Apparition or Entrench. Oh, we got both. And that should, that should, like, that should, baby, that should buy us a lot of time. Killing this guy with Dragonaut is not ideal. In any way. But if we get the deck small enough, we can actually just Entrench and win, you know? Flame Barrier is also good damage. Am I going to get more value out of this Apparition? I could, this is a 48 Apparition and this can buy me even more time for Entrench. And then from there we just don't die. And then the deck gets smaller so we draw to Entrench more often by having no Entrench. By having no Apparition I mean. Okay. That's enough time to buy. Let's get the deck smaller and then... Perfect Strike's gonna cry, of course, but... We got Blind, which is very nice. I think we're done with Perfect Strike at this point. And let's just drag him down. We can even go infinite, potentially. Flame Bird does good damage. No, I can't go infinite. I don't know. I need another Dropkick. GG. Let's, let's try to fix this deck. This deck needs a lot of work. The deck needs a lot of work right now. Y'all want Fee to get more max HP? Yeah, we need body slams badly. We need to turn this block into damage. We also need card draw. Card draw and body slam. Don't know if Corruption is even good in this deck. Don't think it is, unfortunately. Berserk is more energy. It might just be Feeder Skip here. Got Runic Pyramid, so I could hold on to things like Sentinel. Right? Hold on to things like Sentinel, hold on to Apparitions, and hold on to Feed, as well as hold on to Entrench. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, we have a big shop here. And with this big shop, we can decide on another big shop, another big shop. And we have a lot of shops. Is there any events for Mind Bloom? There is. Let's go this way. Oh, Mayhem. Oh, Mayhem. One, two, three. How much is this? One, two, three, four, five, five. So now Dual Wield is an amazing card because Dual Wield is a, um, I mean, we don't have anything to Dual Wield here, but Dual Wield with Pyramid is fantastic. I just don't have anything to Dual Wield, right? We get a dual wield feed, but that doesn't seem very good. Oh, I was supposed to feed this guy. Oh, I rushed. Alright, let me slow down. Let me slow let me get some water. Let's slow down. I I should feed this guy. This guy was a free kill. I should feed him. That's max HP. So losing max HP is very bad. Yeah, we could dual wield dropkick to infinite. That's not even a meme. That's not even a meme. We could dual wield uh dropkick to go infinite. That's not even a meme. 
we might consider it. Should we consider dual? We have to exhaust a lot of cards from our deck before we can get infinite with drop kick. We have to exhaust a lot of cards. Um, you know, we would need like a a rage or abacus. Go ahead, be right back. Yeah, it's nice to have dual dropkick as like an option, right? As an option to go infinite. Um, I just don't know if we want to take that option to go infinite in this like thirty card deck, you know. Um, let's see what the shop has first. Losing more max HP. We also get we also get two madness plus. I mean, who's down for two madness plus? What can that do for us? It can make Juggernaut and Shockwave and Barricade. It can make some things more playable. But it blows the deck even more. It blows the deck even more. It helps clear my hand with Pyramid. I don't, I don't have infinite energy. I do struggle with energy a little bit. With cards like Shockwave, uh, Ju Juggernauts, Fiendfire, Flame Barrier, Barricade. Yeah, I struggle to play some cards. Alright, let's check out the shop here. So, mech hit seems pretty good. Um, bottle lighting for entrench seems pretty good. Finesse with dropkick is like an infinite right there. I could take finesse just to have the option for, for infinite. If you guys want, you know. Finesse dropkick is infinite. Plus, we have med kit now, so infinite is possible. I could shrug it off, it's not bad. Scene red has some good play when you have pyramid, but I need card draw. Might just be mech hit finesse. Make it so that pyramid doesn't get clogged. Uh, is it worth bottling an entrench? Not really. Is it worth bottling apparition so that we always have it on on hold? An apparition on hold so we don't die. I mean, it's pretty expensive for that. Are we going to the point where we're moving strikes and get, saying goodbye to perfected strike? What about remove sword boomerang? Um, I'm gonna do this. I guess I'll save the rest of my money here. Um, yeah, I can save the rest of my money here. And now, now there's like an infinite, if if need be, if we get desperate enough. So let's say we're going against the awakened one. Let's say we get going against. It's not that we need apparition turn one. Is that I have pyramid, so I hold on to it. Finesse, yeah, finesse and barricade infinite can beat the heart. I can beat the whole game with infinite right now. If I just focus solely on infinite, I can I can win the game right now. Body slam. 
<sighs> Got a body slam. So now. So now. Yeah, we should have fed on the first fight as well. Could have been even more higher, but it's okay. So what we need now is just kind of like forget all these strikes if possible. And, you know, perfect strike has to go as well. We can. This is this is like the our exhaust fodder, and we gotta just we gotta find we need a card draw we need to find barricade asap you know this deck is very bloated for this is a bloated deck that doesn't want to be bloated oh a rare relic or the mad lad takes curses because keep in mind there's a shop right here and a shop right here. Unfortunately, I had a lot of maxes before I took that person's. I mean, this is a rare relic versus... Yeah, which, Caliper is not bad here because I can actually, you know, hold on to some block before Barrett gets in play. We get to survive a fight with normality, and then we get a removal and then removal. But that's also removing two strikes, right? Like, those are... We could be removing strike instead. We could be removing strike instead. We have enough exhaust to make it work for the moment. So it's like a rare a rare relic and two removes versus sharp relics we might like at the shop. Try to feed this guy. Try to feed on this man. I don't care about the extra damage that we got there. So that'd be a decent fiend fire, but I want to get feed. So fiend fire has become really bad with this hand because I want to get feed out, you know. But now we can do apparition pretty willy nilly. I mean, we can do havoc pretty willy nilly. Let's go body slam. So what we want to do is body slam here, and then feed. Turn up. Turn up is really good, actually. Whoa! Turn up is so good. Turn up is so good. What's up, Elo? How you doing, buddy? So, I need card draw, like, but, but Palm Strike is more card draw, but we're, with Pyramid, is what we need is Gambly Chip. Gambly Chip would have been huge to find Barricade. Gambly Chip would have been, like, best. The best, best, best. We don't take anything here. We don't take anything here. And, uh... I'm trying to think what our upgrade would be. We could upgrade Body Slam. We could upgrade Feed. If I upgrade Feed, I can still get, like, some decent max HP out of it. You guys think it's worth upgrading Feed to get more max HP or upgrade Body Slam to make it more playable? Perfection Strike Plus. <laughs> nah, this is firmly out of Perfection Strike at this point. I mean, now you can make a decision. We can go for another Elite here because things like Gambling Chip are really huge, you know? But this path is so bad in comparison. It's a wasted heal with that campfire. Try to get feet off here. Let's see if we can kill this man so that this fight just becomes much easier. Um, 
I can hold on to body slam and kill that man. I can hold on to all these attacks as well. Yikes. Ew. Ew. But not drawing today's is pretty good, I guess. But saving this black for this guy is not bad either. It's a waste of energy though. I got barricade out, which is nice. I kind of want to... I want to use Sentinel to True Grid and get more cards played. But I also want to free my hand a little bit. I'll do this. I'll do this. Yes, yeah, Duel Whip would have been good for feed stuff, you know, to think about. Duel Whip would have been really nice. Surely. Assuredly. This is a decent havoc here. My oh, already zero cost, it's hilarious. This is a decent uh, fiend fire here. There's no more feet to be had, right? So, CG. Yeah, Chrysalis is bad, huh? We don't need any of these cards. Alright, another wasted heal here. Yikes, man. I guess we upgrade feed and get some more max HP out of it. Maybe I should have upgraded it earlier. Regal Pillow is bad. Regal Pillow is so bad. Oh, this, these relics are so bad. So bad. Alright, we could do potion bell and hold on to potions for the heart. We could do discovery and do funny things with discovery. We could do another removal. Another removal, make the deck small and cute, which is what we want to do. And then Ori for looking for like impervious, looking for battle trends, looking for cards like that. So, you know, Ori obviously has some play as well with Toxic Egg. So I wonder if Ori's is better than removal here, but what, what are we looking for exactly? We're looking for... I guess impervious. Exhum. Looking for exhum, exhum impervious. Exhum impervious and uh, like, you know, an offering, a, ma uh, a battle trance. Exhum impervious offering. All the rares as well as battle trends. Or we can remove a strike and say the deck has enough block. We just need to. Uh, we need to just get the deck in order quickly. You know? And no potion belt for us. Next removal is a little expensive. I'll go for two elites here. That's another wasted shop. Do we care about that? Hand of Greed versus Blind. I mean, if I get the Hand of Greed off, I want to get feet off, so that's never happening. It's probably a decent fiend fire. Are we scared to have it here? We are. We are. as well, yep. Oh, GG. So let's just try to set up for feed now. Next turn. Let's set up for feed next turn. Uh, we didn't draw feed. We gotta wait another turn. Gotta wait two turns now for feed. Oh, I should have done the body stamp first. Whoops, sorry. And now I kind of fucked up my uh, my ability to feed easier. Yikes! It's embarrassing. Oh no! 
That's really bad. That's really bad. Weaken me. Too much damage. I can't believe I gotta get hit intentionally. I know you have feed next turn. Another, these relics are horrible, man. Molten Egg, Regal Pillow, these relics are not it, dude. We got more weakened with Clothesline, which is interesting. If Shockwave for the weaken, but once we get Entrenched Online, we're not going to need the weaken. So this is pretty bad. Berserk gives us more energy, which is good with Odd Mushroom. I mean, we had to give up Frozen Egg, this would have been an Omelette. Yeah, that's interesting. They, they put things in the game, Kite, they put things in the game to kind of prevent infinites like that, but yeah, there's, works, there's workarounds, right? So Medkit is a workaround, and, uh, you know, Abacus, etc. Um, what's up, Salem? Ahoy, what's up, Kite? Also, Berserk for more energy. We don't mind more energy, right? We don't get another removal here, unfortunately. We do get a headbutt for Entrench, which I like a lot. Oh well. Oh boy. I want to draw cards, so I'm going to hold on to all these. Uh, I'm going to play all these cards. Running out of energy soon. Gotta get online quickly. I gotta get online quickly. Hmm. Just need barricade as well. Gotta bend a lot on barricade here. I need a card draw, so I'm gonna do this for card draw. We need the barricade. Uh, Fiend Fire would be really bad here, so I can't play Havoc. Barricade is very good, though. Again, beautiful. I don't want to give her body slam prematurely. There's the body slam. So now we can have it because body slam doesn't matter. But if body slam hits headbutt, it's going to suck. I want to headbutt entrench. Although we have lethal here, so too much damage yet again. Should I wait for next turn? Cause I want to feed on him. I did, I did too much damage. I guess we do the math here. We could, do, we could take the, do the math here, do this, and then take a hit. And now feed is online. Strike dummy, these relics are horrible. 
Yikes, man. These relics are horrible. What are these relics? I got some good relics in the beginning, but then these relics are horrible. This is not a use. Some of these relics are really not that good. So that's unfortunate. I have, I have infinite heal as well. Do I need two body slams? I don't think so. Um, two body slams. It, my damage output is a little bit better with two body slams, but it's just bloaty. Two body slams is a little bit bloaty. I really need to make sure I draw and get a massive entrench run against the heart. And I need to mitigate damage with apparitions before that happens. And my card deck is currently 32 cards. And we're not really achieving much of anything at all. Violence is pretty good because violence clears out some of the bad stuff. Oh, nice. Very nice. This fight's a little bit difficult. I'm not careful. I'm not careful, this fight's a little bit difficult. We need to find Entrench and then do Headbutt Entrench for GG, so we need to let that happen. I need to let that happen. So Fiend Fire would be very scary here. We don't have enough card draw, which is very bad. It's very bad. Um, yeah, this is, this is looking really bad for the heart. It's looking very bad for the heart here. I kind of need a Havoc just to kind of free up hand space, but Havoc is really, really dangerous. We could take a beating though. Our opponents are gonna take a beating. So we do card draw here. We can take a beating for the pentagraph. We can take a beating here, it's fine. But we need the entrenched thing to happen soon. <laughs> but. And that's what's going to win us the fight. Um, I'm also getting greedy because I want to do feed, so I'm, doing, I'm being greedy for a couple of things. This is like really, really cumbersome. We can take a beating, but do I want to take this much of a beating? All right, so now this is where we get the uh, headbutt and trench shenanigans, which is very nice. This should kind of should solidify the fight for us, right? And then we do body slam to win. This should solidify the fight for us, so we should do... We need to find his true grit for this sentinel. Let's do apparition here. Okay, this now gets the body slam again, and then feed him. Yeah, we bought a real dog bed. I was I, I was hyping it up. You 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 weren't here for it, but we got a really nice dog bed for them. I don't want to do entrench yet because I want to do body slam. Feed. He is coming. He is coming. Ah, 
Uh, we didn't take any damage, really. Wasn't that bad of a fight. Let's do the same thing for Time Eater. Time Eater is kind of just, you know, we're like a setup deck, so... If you, as long as you get Barricade Bottled like this, then... <laughs> we're very happy. I'm very happy. As long as Barricade is battle, uh, bottled, we can never lose, I would say. I want to free up my hands for later on. Because I'm only drawing so much. Um, let's head with that entrench. And this apparition here. And now let's set up a big entrench. Big ish. Big ish. Could be better, of course. Now I didn't I didn't save headbutt for like the headbutt entrenched shenanigans, which should have been a much better turn potentially. Um we have apparitions. Apparition and like body slam, I guess. Or juggernaut for instance. Now we gotta draw back an entrench before I lose all this block, because this is gonna be very delicate to balance against the heart, I suppose. It's the same kind of shenanigans. Um, we wanna set up. Feed as well, right? For trench. By time for the trench. Should be coming any minute now. We got it with Havoc guaranteed. Yay. But do this first. And then set up feed. Feet is paying off, you know. Feet is not bad here. Feet is paying off big time. Feet should buy us a little bit more wiggle room. Wasted heals. I need the bathroom real quick. I'm also broke for this shop, so uh, good luck. Uh, basically, my deck is very combo heavy, and against the heart, I'm a little bit worried because uh, if Barricade's in the bottom of the deck, we're very much in trouble. <sighs> yeah, if we don't get Barricade early, this deck's looking really bad. And I don't have any good. Um, I don't have any good, uh... I feel like... Power Pot is probably the best thing to do here. For... For many things, like a random barricade, but... Scene Red is not bad either, because Scene Red can help me clear up my hand early on. Because you guys see how, like, my hand can get kind of dirty later on, early on. It gets kind of dirty, and if we can clear up our hands... And get more card draw... I don't mind Scene Red, but... It's, it's pretty bloaty, you know? So I think we take the power pot. Take the power pot and we carry on. Okay. We can take a little bit of um, damage here. Now we need bottle tornado here, yes. Put a skill or discovery. A skill would be like hold on to apparition or hold on to entrench. I feel like a skill is very important. And I don't know what I'm gonna draw, but secret technique seems very good. Seems very good to hold on to. 
I can take a little bit of damage here. Should I just body slam to get this damage now or keep body slam for a uh, lethal? I can keep body slam for lethal when I have massive entrench or I could just do it now to get it out of the deck for card roll. I think I kind of want to... Um, I kind of want to hold on to it and just use it as a big lethal turn. And here I have apparition or other things are entrenched if necessary. It feels like in the very least, I could take this hit and save this for another turn. Because we heal for how much? 25. And plus at the end of the turn we heal 6, so we actually heal for 31. And right now we're taking, um... We're taking 19 here, which is acceptable here. Acceptable, acceptable, acceptable. I'll get rid of the cleave. I think the block is going to be really important for my entrenched deck. So here we have Apparition. We also have Headbutt for Entrench, which is going to be what we're going to use to win the game. Is Headbutt Entrench. So that's really good. That's really, really good. Really good. And we just gotta get barricade out. Maybe I could have taken that damage as well, I don't know. No barricade out just yet. We're holding on, boys. I wanna hold on to this to exhaust, but we have energy pot if necessary. I gotta make sure that my card roll stays intact. If I do, if I had, yeah, we just gotta hold on here. Just gotta hold on. Maybe I get rid of this now and redraw into it. Cause once I'm set up, I'm already game over, right? And I think card draw is really important. So we get rid of that now. It's important we get body slam immediately. I mean, barricade immediately. Cause now we're running out of time to set up our running attempt to set up you know that's not good running out of time to set up is not good at all one more apparition in the deck one more apparition in the deck at this point I think we can just do this for finesse so that we can draw into barricade sooner and we want to empty some of these we want to draw the barricade sooner but yeah, we have headbutt and yeah, I think we just did this for finesse so that we can draw to barricade even sooner. So we can empty up this hand, like for instance, finesse draws into a strike, we play strike, strike, and then we draw a full hand of five. And there's two cards left in the deck. Oh, that's getting dicey. See, this is what happens if this, if this, this happens against the heart where we get barricade at the bottom of the deck. It's very, very bad. Maybe this power pot can save us. Um, I only draw four cards next turn. If I don't, if I don't play secret technique right now, I only draw four cards next turn. And I want to avoid that because burns happen on the top of my deck as well. How do we feel about doing secret technique on finesse right now? How do we feel about this? There's a world where I don't get entrenched next turn. I mean, there's a world where I don't get into apparition guaranteed. Would that be scary? If if I don't have apparition next turn. So this is like this is like an out for apparition. But if we can play barricade this turn, well then we can start our entrenched shenanigans, you know? Which need to happen soon. But let's say next turn I draw five and one of them is not in apparition. Well, how much damage do they do next turn? Next turn they're doing like. He's doing a pretty sizable attack, no? He's doing a pretty sizable attack. I forget, honestly. I forget. You know, 
minimize risk. We got the barricade finally. Got the barricade finally. Alright, now we need to get like a much bigger... A much... We need to barricade and trench stuff. Because we could die next turn. Very easily. I could have I could have maybe just gone for lethal, you know. Instead of doing this whole barricade trench, I could just gone for lethal on the spear. This is awkward. How much is this? This kills the spear, but then I lose feed and I. Play, I can play Entrench, Headbutt it, and then Fiend Fire. And say goodbye to Feed, you know? So Headbutt, then Fiend Fire. How much damage is that? It's gonna be 15 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 7. Which is gonna be 84 damage. 84 plus 15. Not bad. Don't we kind of want to include... Like, keep Body Stem in our deck, maybe? We can beat this without Body Stem, I suppose. We can beat this without Body Stem, I suppose. This is just a really bad turn. Like, none of our blocks are here. But I think I should, I should do Entrenched Headbutt. I should play Juggernaut as well, right? Because then how do I kill this guy with no no body slam? Does anybody know how we kill this guy with no body slam? We're going to have no Juggernaut, no body slam against this guy. I guess we can kill I guess we can kill him just very very slowly I say body this guy's not guaranteed dead at all we have drop pick finesse This guy dies on the first hit. So I could change my my, my back here, right? Nice. Doesn't change the targeting, but um this guy dies. Which helps a lot. You have finesse, infinite, move drop kick. Infinite with dropkick. Which we could do against the heart as well, by the way. If we're so inclined. We could do finesse infinite drop kick against the heart. Does damage, which is nice. I could have got rid of the strike there.
Yeah, well, the hard fight is all depends on where body slam is. Sorry, uh, barricade. We also have a power pot to kind of save our ass a little bit. We don't have bash anymore, so. We're just gonna kill him with, uh. We're gonna kill him with finger. Do you guys think Bloodletting helps me play more cards? A single Bloodletting in the deck? I think a lot of the cards we just don't want to play. Like we want to hold on to Apparitions. We're trying to hold on to... Uh, we're trying to hold on to Body Slam. We're trying to hold on to Entrench Headbutt. We're trying to hold on to so many cards, right? And then once we get the combo going, we're good to go. I guess Bloodletting helps if this is Dark Embrace. If this power is Dark Embrace, then Bloodletting helps a lot. Also should be noted that like, you know, I take less damage from vulnerable and I'm not frail, so we're okay. Mm -mm. Rupture's useless because it, the way we're winning is just entrench full block and then kill. So Rupture does some strength scaling. We don't if we're strength scaling and not blocking and we we lose anyways. I have energy power for the exact purpose, exactly. I don't see like a single bloodletting. We have berserk. Let's double check. Let's double check here. On average, how do I use bloodletting to jump out my strikes and defends? I'm probably jumping out my strikes and defends anyways, right? I guess it helps me in palm strike turns. You know what would be really nice, man? A, a bag of prep. Or one battle trance. The palm strike turns help me with bloodletting. But again, it's just another card I don't want to see. Warcry does dig. Warcry does dig. And I wonder if just I need this Warcry dig. <laughs> no Caparino. No Caparino. Finesse is another infinite. We can go for more infinite stuff. Two finesses with a drop kick. And we have infinite. Which is nice. Chrysalis ends up adding a lot of skills we don't care about. We saw that already, right? Either that or transmutation. I can take another finesse and do some infinite stuff. Which is like kind of hard because I think it's more likely that we're going to be getting barricade and trench fully online before we go for infinite. Alright, and finesse does dig. But infinite should not be our priority here. We do that for like swag if we want to swag it out. But I don't really care about that because I don't know where Barricade is in the deck. We got Shockwaves is nice. Uh, let's see where the energy is. Oh! Well, it depends on where Barricade is. Because uh, Funeral Pain is very good. Funeral Pain is very good. But... I guess this just solves the problem of barricade, you know? And we have weaken here as well. And now all we gotta do is, uh... Draw into apparitions, no big deal. Draw into apparitions, no big deal. We're not frail. This is a decent apparition. Save some life. I could use my. I could actually. I could tank a little bit. You know, I could. I don't mind apparition here. I have three of them. Let's do some entrenched stuff right here. If we get entrenched now, it would be huge. The headbutt entrenched shenanigans. Let's keep him bash forever. Good damage. 
Good damage, good damage. I would like to get the entrench. I still want to free up some of these cards. I want to get entrench badly. I could fiend fight here to save this block and then entrench his next turn. I think this is a good apparition here to save this block. And then next turn we have entrench, entrench, headbutt, GG, and that should be GG. And then we'll draw back into body slam later. And we entrench here again. Sorry, that person again. And now we finally got our beautiful entrench. Which should be sufficient. Let's get Juggernaut out of the deck. It shouldn't matter, right? It's probably a decent fiend fire. And that should be enough block, right? I still gotta worry about this multi-attack shenanigans. I should be worried about these multi-attack shenanigans. Because that's what's gonna kill me is the multi-attack if I don't get enough block. I can play Juggernaut. I'll play it. Playing a strike for 13 damage. Um, the multi attacks are really brutal, actually. The multi attacks are really brutal. I want to draw a headbutt here. I really want to find headbutt. Uh, without headbutt, I'm really scared here. What if I draw a body slam prematurely, guys? Like, I kinda, part of me wants to do Havoc to find Headbutt so I can get Entrench ASAP. Um, mm. Let's compare the whole damn thing. And then we have entrenched stuff. Should I keep bash for? Should I keep bash for drop pick infinite? If I keep bash for drop pick infinite, um, again I have drop kick finesse finesse, so I could go infinite here. But I think before I go infinite, entrench is gonna carry, no? So I gotta make a decision. Am I gonna need the infinite? Or by the time I go infinite, entrench is carrying? This card, he does a lot of damage though. 105 is a lot of damage. Deck, you know, it's like barricade or bust, power pot fell is out and pose. Scary stuff, but that's the gist of it, right? Apparitions by time, and then you have a combo deck. I mean, pyramid kind of sealed the deal. A lot of things came together. This is very dicey run, actually. You know, without pyramid, 
things are really dicey. I, I'm worried about this wrong on pyramid. Big time. Big time. Yeah, we got bailed out by pyramid big time. Alright, enjoy dinner, buddy. Yeah, we got bailed out big time.